Ralph Ragnick's first game in charge of Manchester United against Crystal Palace was fantastic. It was better than most Manchester United fans could have imagined. It's such a short turnaround to have that much of an impact was brilliant. But we all know that Ragnick needs to bring in his own coaching staff to Manchester United. Michael Carrick, he resigned after the game against Arsenal. We've still got Kieran McKenna at the club. We've still got Mike Phelan at the club. But who will Rangnick be bringing in? We all thought that maybe it was Lars Kornetka, but he's staying at Lokomotiv Moscow. So I'm speaking to Guido Schaefer this morning, the chief reporter at Leipziger Volkszeitung, who's going to hopefully give me some insight into what coaching staff he could be bringing on board. Thank you very much for joining me this morning, Guido. Yes, you're welcome. Did you watch the game against Crystal Palace? Were you impressed? I watch also the the match uh, against Arsenal and uh, yes, uh, the match against Crystal. Uh, I, I watched 90 minutes. I'm a great fan now from Manchester United uh, because of Ralph Rangnick. I know him since 2012. He's he's a genius. He's a, a nice guy, and it's a, it's a very very good decision from Man United uh, to to choice this man. And yes, it's a one nil is is a good start for for Ralph, and I think. They, he, he first of all he stabilized the the defense and this is this is one uh, one reason of, of the secret stabilize defense and then you have many uh, good uh, forwards like Ronaldo and Rashford you know them no for sure for sure and uh, that clean sheet yesterday we didn't concede it's the first time since April we haven't conceded in a game at home so he's had a great impact straight away but but we all know at Manchester United as fans that our coaching staff haven't been good enough either. And Ragnick, while he may, he may be the manager, he still needs a, a support network around him to help implement this sort of pressing system that he wants to do. And, and he can't do it on his own. So uh, I saw over the weekend, you mentioned uh, Sasha Lense, who's a, a former sports psychologist who I believe worked at, uh, at who did he work with? Worked at Schalke, also worked at Leipzig, I believe. Yes. Um, what have you heard about Sasha Lenser coming into Manchester United? Yes, I I, uh, I have a, a short message with him, and I congrat uh, him uh, to the to the new job. He's he's a lovely guy. He worked with Ralf Rangnick together in Leipzig, and also he, he worked in Dresden as a mental coach and in Schalke 04. And uh, he's uh, his daughter, uh, Sasha Lenser's daughter, is a very nice girl, and she's together with Timo Werner. The star from ah. Chelsea, yes, from FC Chelsea London. Uh, yes, Sasha is a very good guy. He's, he's uh, very intelligent. He knows the business from all sides. He was also a, a professional uh, player. And uh, I think it's a good decision for, for Man United and also for, for Ralph. He can support uh, the, the, the team. And um, nice guy, good decision. But I think it's not the end. Uh, the Ralph Rannick uh, need more. More power for his, his his trainer team, and uh, I wish I'm sure that he will find um, the the best uh, persons for for each position. This is one uh, one reason of the, the one one secret of of Ralph's um, success in Leipzig or in in Hoffenheim. He's searching for each for every position the best man or the best girl. Now with uh, with Sasha, he is a, a sports psychologist, so that won't be. Exactly. That's nothing to do with the assistant manager role, is it? So that's somebody who's going to, I suppose, help the players understand the system. And if they have any questions about it, Sasha will be the person that they can go and speak to. But uh, have you heard anything in terms of the assistant role? Because as I mentioned, Lars Kornetka was somebody who a lot of Manchester United fans thought was going to follow Ragnick from Lokomotiv Moscow. And instead, he basically replaced Ragnick at Lokomotiv Moscow, didn't he? So have you heard anything about, for example, Jesse Marsh? Uh, obviously, now he's someone who's worked under Ragnit before uh, and he's now been fired by RB Leipzig. Is he somebody who could come into Manchester United? Have you heard anything there? Uh, Jesse Marsh is, first of all, he's, he's a, a great guy. Uh, um, he's deep in my heart. I, I, I love him a little bit as a, as a, as a coach, as a, as a, as a person. Uh, he has he has no success here in Leipzig, but uh, he worked very successful together with Leipzig uh, with uh, Ralf Rangnick, and uh, as assistant coach, I think it's it could be a, a, a fine move. But uh, I think also that that Jesse now need time to to recover a little bit, and 
uh, he he will fly to to New York. I heard for a few weeks, and I don't think that this is uh, um, a decision that uh, is now possible. Uh, perhaps in in one or two months, but but not in this moment. And I think Ralph Rangnick needs more um, men or more help now directly, and he is not it's not possible to wait for Jesse Marsh. Oh, if it's not Jesse Marsh, then something that uh, I've been hearing over the weekend is uh, Gerhard Struber, who is he's working inside the Red Bull brand over in New York. Uh, is, is that somebody who you've heard anything, any links with him and the job? Or is that something that's, I suppose, just stuck in the papers? Yes, I heard also that uh, that Ralph Rangnick can connect him. I, I don't know if it's is right. I can send Ralph a short message. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can ask him. He's uh, we have a good contact, and yeah, Struber is is very very good guy. I'm I'm not sure that he he's we want to leave or he wants to leave New York. But uh, if you if you have an offer from Manchester United, then for sure you would say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, that's that's certainly what Ragnick did. Um, now, obviously, you've um, you've you've had you've known Ragnick for for quite a few years now. Now, Manchester United fans were only just getting to start to know him, but what we what we saw at the weekend, I think it's going to be a good relationship. And our, our club is is you know we've we are we are such a huge club, but we've yes. not been managed we've not been managed correctly for for some time on and off the pitch. You know, in in your own personal experiences of of dealing with Ragnick, you know what sort of what sort of person is he? Ralph Rangnick, this is a candle uh, which burns on both ends and also in the middle. He's a 24 7 worker. He's crazy. He's, he he forces everything from, from, from the staff. Uh, I think he's uh, in the morning at six o'clock. Uh, he, he's writing his first email on the staff and at midnight at the last uh, mail. He's, um, he's, he's a crazy guy. He loves, he loves to have success. And uh, I think he earns a lot of money, but he, he, he need no money. He had no time to spend the money. Never went out <laughs> for wine or for beer. He don't drive a, a fast or a, a expensive car. He is 24-7 um, a team manager, a manager from Manchester United now. And I think it will be a successful relationship between this Lovely club, this legendary club, and uh, also my friend Ralph Rangnick. It's a dream comes true for him, he told me. And I think uh, everything is there for success. Or I, I, I think so. so. I, I hope so as well. But he's, he's, um, the thing I've been struck by myself is, is how intelligent he, he he's, yeah. he's, he's, I mean, English is not his primary language, but he can explain very complicated things very simply so people like me can understand it. Is, is is that something that you've sort of experienced as well? And and I remember you you saying that you 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 had played with uh with Jurgen Klopp back in Mainz. Would you, would you like to have played underneath Ragnick as a manager? <laughs> no, no, no. I spoke with Ralph. <laughs> uh, I spoke with Ralph Ragnick about this, and and uh, I played yeah only only second division. But he told me then when I was a young guy, Guido as a young player, he can force me to a first class player, and said no, Ralph. Perhaps, perhaps, okay, it's possible, but you have no, you have no fun. Uh, I'm not. Uh, it's not allowed to drink a beer, to go late in bed, and to have many girlfriends. No, with Ralph Rangnick, you have success, but uh, I think it's it's not the pure fun with him. Well, it, I suppose that the way you're explaining him there, lots has lots has been said about how Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't press and he won't work inside the Ragnick system, but. If you're looking at the consummate professional, somebody who doesn't drink, somebody who doesn't go to bed late, that's Cristiano Ronaldo. So do you think that he will love managing and coaching Cristiano Ronaldo? How do you expect their relationship to be together? It will be a great relationship because both both want success. It's the, it's their, it's their aim to have success. And I, I think Ronaldo is also a very intelligent guy. He knows that Ralf Rangnick can bring the team uh, a, a new impact and, and success, and they will work together in in a in a in a nice way. I'm very sure. And and Ralf Rangnick is also a learning system. He's able to to deal with 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 stars like uh, Cristiano. And um, I watched the match against Crystal, and I I saw 
Cristiano is working, is working for the team, and he's he's so a, a player. I, I love Cristiano, and I think it, it will be a, a good relationship between Ralph and 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 Cristiano. And CR7 means Cristiano Rangnick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, yes. I hope it's a partnership that works well as well. Um, yes. Something that a lot of United fans are excited about is Ralph Ragnick has a reputation over at Salzburg, at Leipzig, at Hoffenheim, everything he's done. He loves to bring through younger players, develop younger players and sort of make them better players. Is that something that what, what's your experience of, is of that, you know, of watching that at Leipzig and Salzburg and what can Manchester United fans expect with him? Because our academy is so important to our club. Yes, yes. Do you think, do you, do you think he'll do the same thing with us? He, yes, he loves to work with young players. Um, his, uh, his, his scouting system in, in, in the Cosmos from Red Bull was outstanding. And they, they found many, many talented players. Upamecano, Kanate, also Timo Werner, many, many players. And they develop in, 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 in Leipzig or in, in Salzburg. Also um, Mane, legendary player. And um, Ralf Rangnick is the man... He, who he's he's finding this this talents he's searching for the talents he's finding them and then he's he's speaking with the players and also with with the parents from the players and the agents and um if you if you speak with Ralph Rannick you say also yes to anything say like, yes i want to join manchester united yes i want to have success with him he's he's a crazy guy and um uh, yes, uh, he knows the business also from all sides. He was a player and he, he was a, a, a talent scout and he was a manager, he was a coach and also um, he had a, a physiotherapy and in, in former times that he, he's able to uh, to make a, a tape. Uh, the, this tape, he's able to yeah. make tape on my hand and also on the ankle from Ronaldo. And he's also... Uh, the the best bus driver in the in the town also can, <laughs> he can anything he can drive the team bus <laughs> just in case we need to um that when it comes if i if i can go back to the conversation we were having there about his assistant managers how when he was at leipzig when he was at salzburg and hoffenheim how important were his assistant managers to him you know how how much of a how how big a role did they play inside the whole system that he built uh, they they play very very big role. Um, um, when I when I think about uh, uh, Scholt Löw, he was his assistant in in, in Leipzig. Uh, Scholt is is a very very skillful guy, and uh, you see this now his work in in Paris with Thomas Tuchel or in in, in London Chelsea with with Thomas Tuchel. Is um, Ralph is is. Ralph is is the mastermind, but he's also able, and he, he wants to 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 delegate work and to dele, delegate something, and uh, that every person has uh, the the competence and and the knowing that uh, they can work also uh, and make a worthful work for work for for Ralph. And um, I think uh, I spoke also with with Short Löw because in Leipzig we need a new coach, and uh, he said no, no, I will stay in in Chelsea. And I said he, the work with Ralph Ramnick was outstanding. He's he's a, he's a giant. Also, uh, Thomas Tuchel is also a giant, and Jurgen Klopp also. Mm. Giants. Obviously, your 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 former teammate Jurgen Klopp. Yes. <laughs> and now, so if if I can ask again, is is there an is there an assistant manager right now who? Who is the standout candidate for Ralph Ragnick? Do you, do you know that there's one person that he would really love to bring to Manchester? I know, I know, no word, uh, no, no name. But uh, um, after our interview, I, I will send him a short message, and uh, perhaps he he will uh, he will uh, say. Uh, but I don't think so. It's also he's he's a he's a top professional guy, and no secrets go go out. From the cabin or out from the burrow, uh, I think he has a short list with with guys who are able to 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 manage this uh, this job. And uh, okay, he 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 started with a with a victory. This is okay, and now he has to to sort at some other things. Also, the play the, the offense was not so good, and also the structure in the club. He's he's a hard worker, and I think it was the best decision. 
for Manchester United to to choice Ralf Rangnick. He will bring the victory uh, uh, back to to Old Trafford. Uh, I hope so. And I think that for me personally, the thing I'm most excited about with Ralf Rangnick is he might be coming in on an interim role for six months. Yes. But he's been he's been given a consultancy role for two years. On top of that, so he he'll but, go but, upstairs. But. Although, but uh, uh, no, yeah, he, he, I, my opinion is the other imp opinion. I think when Ralph Rangnick uh, win every match or, and win a, a, a title, perhaps a Champions League, um, <laughs> why should Glazer say, oh, we need a, a new coach? Perhaps he will stay longer with your club as a coach. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't rule it out. He 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 even ru didn't rule it out himself. Yes. But um, I, I'm very excited about the impact and the influence and that, Our club has, uh, has lacked direction for some time in terms of making the right decisions. And yes. all of us fans, during the international break that's just happened a few weeks ago, I chose Ralph Radnick as, as my top choice because I looked into his, his whole philosophy, obviously the three Cs, all yes. of his history with the entire Red Bull brand from Salzburg to Leipzig to then becoming a sort of global director of the overall brand. Is is there anything that Ragnick can't? If you if, if you were to say he had any weaknesses, does he has any? Does he have any? Poor, oh, yes. He drank not uh, enough beer and not enough wine, and uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, he's he's uh, he, he's uh, he forces everything from from you. If, if I work under Ralph, I asked him, can you can you can I come with you to Manchester United? And he said, well, Guido. You, you are not. What I, what do I want to do? Is I, I want to stay with you together, and I, I go with you out. We drink a beer and a wine, and I need five hundred thousand bucks a year. And I said, no, Guido, <laughs> you are, you are, uh, you are a legend. You go out in the night, you drink, you have many girls. No, I need a, a professional man and serious workers. And he is, he is the mastermind. And you have to give every day one hundred percent in every position. And this is not so easy. It's not so easy to to copy with this this pace he forces, and uh, therefore also in, in, in Leipzig, some uh, persons are said, okay, no, it's 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 too fast for me. Ralph running on the driving seat. It's 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 full power, full full pace every day. Well, I'll tell you what, Guido. Uh, when you when you do come over to Manchester, me and you can go out for a few beers. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But look, uh, thank you very much for, for talking to me today. Uh, it's really nice to hear fr from the perspective of somebody who has a personal relationship with Ragnick and how happy you are for him, how happy he seems to be that he's, you know, because he was, he was at Moscow, he was in a comfortable position. He didn't need to step back into the limelight. But as you say, Manchester United, right? Can you really turn it down? Ragnick didn't. And now, and now we all get to watch... What comes next? What, what do you think will happen this season? What, what are your expectations of, of Ragnick's first season at Manchester well, United? I hope he, he will qualify for the, for the Champions League. It's, it's very difficult. There are good clubs in this season, you know, at the Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, also West Ham. Um, this is, I think, it's a the great aim for him uh, to, to reach the, the, the Champions League again. But uh, and why? Well, it's, it's possible that, that he uh, go through the final in the, in the Champions League and perhaps like Tuchel last year, he will, he will win the Champions League. Ralf Rangnick is, is the best man on the best place now. And uh, I think also Sir Alex Ferguson uh, said it's, it's, good. it's good to have Ralf now in my legendary barrel. Yeah, well, I think that, I think that uh, Sir Alex Ferguson and Ralf Rangnick will definitely... Ralph may not have had too many wines with you, but he'll definitely have a glass of wine with Sir Alex Ferguson, won't he? Yes. <laughs> I will visit, I will visit uh, Old Trafford when, when Ralph uh, played in, uh, in, in a few weeks and um, I, will, I will visit him and perhaps he, have, he has a one or two hours uh, time for, uh, for the old Guido Shepard, his, his great fan and also <laughs> friend. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. But thank you very much for your time today, Guido. Um, And hopefully I'll, I'll definitely would like to speak to you, to you again in a few weeks' time and then hear any more stories maybe about yourself okay. and Ragnick. <laughs> okay. But thank you very much and have yeah. a good day, man.